ready to go. So we're here in Mossman. Um, clients looking at are uh, either replacing, relining, or um, we're going to give them some options. But yeah, I'm not a big fan of dig ups. Um, if we can't get away with it, if we can't, we can't. It's a different story. But I'm going to see. She's a, she's being advised that she does need to replace 25 meters or approximately. So we're going to put Mr. Camera down in there and find out what's going on. Let's go. What a shit in this line, man. What's happened? Strip it. There you go. You think the pipe here would be a fish at It would be. It's hard. Yeah. There's a drop. Blockage. Where is it? It's got a blockage. Oh, it's pretty clear. I'm already at the blockage. Okay. All right, we got broken pipe. Okay, broken pipe, tree roots, broken pipe, tree roots. Okay, we got tree roots, broken pipe. So this is the section where I am assuming that we're talking about that's cracked. That's all cracked. So look, so we'll start from back here. As we kind of see all the pipes are smashed. See that? Pipes are all smashed. We come through, we drop. There's a massive crack and then and some tree roots coming up. On that top section of the pipe, um, that's sand building up. Let's see if I jump. So it's all good until we get to about here, and the major problem is just there. Okay, so let's go find this baby. So, because it's a broken pipe just here, it's actually digging itself underneath the pipe now, so we're not actually going through. Um, best thing now is to stop. What I would recommend is that we dig that small section up for the client, um, repair it and then put a camera in and we can give them another price. Because realistically we can't quote on what we can't see. Alright, pack it up.